It would have never yeah. really just, you know, started without, you know, things happening, the, you know, the way that they did. But, you know, at the time it was like really stressful because, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen or where mm-hmm. things would lead. And, you know, Trey was, you know, being my best friend, us having those differences. It was just kind of, you know, just just a stressful moment, man. Just, just very, very stressful. But, mm-hmm. you know, I never fold. Like, came about because of that experience yeah. you know what i'm saying that was something that i always kind of thought about but never really pulled the trigger on because kick genius was in the forefront mm-hmm. so it just gave me the opportunity to kind of just you know be more of myself and just kind of just take a step back and say look man this is who i am this is what you're gonna get i hope you like it because you know it's just not all kicks for me For those who've been watching you for a while, they probably know you mostly from Kick Genius, like from a while ago. Yep. So when you guys originally split, what was your mindset as far as just like overall like career path, content, and just like where you thought or wanted to continue to be headed? Yeah, um, honestly, my mindset didn't change too much. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just kind of wanted to continue to um, be me and you know that gave me an opportunity i believe for because at the time you know it everything was pretty much involved around kicks and just basketball but we do so much more than, oh yeah for sure than just you know have kicks and hoop like there's so much more to us like trey is really you know really really smart loves music uh me i love cars man that's a big passion of mine so I love reading i don't get to read as often as i as i used to i actually i actually brought some books with me i was reading at the hotel word yeah yeah, yeah like I don't give a fuck, Keisha. Man, I've been trying to get back into it, man. I love trying new foods. Mm-hmm. Something that you guys have seen on my channel. Yeah. If you watch the donut burger. Ah! Uh, oh, it's an actual burger. It's an actual burger, and they put. <laughs> I don't know. The donut. I might just take a donut off, though. What are we cheating in? No, oh, look bad, home. Thumbnail. That is slimy, though. Too bright, Paul. All right. What you gonna do? All those things, like, yeah. it, without the split, believe it or not, I would have never really, you know, thought to put out, uh, you know, the brand, the brand. It would have never yeah. really just, you know, started without, you know, things happening, the, you know, the way that they did. But, you know, at the time it was like really stressful because, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen or where mm-hmm. things would lead. And, you know, Trey would, you know, being my best friend, us having those differences, it was just kind of, you know, just just a stressful moment man just just very very stressful but Mm -hmm. you know i never fold like came about because of that experience you know what i'm saying that was something that i always kind of thought about but never really pulled the trigger on because kick genius was in the forefront Mm -hmm. so it just gave me the opportunity to kind of just you know be more of myself and just kind of just take a step back and say look man this is who i am this is what you're gonna get i hope you like it because you know it's just not all kicks for me yeah, and being around you for like six days now, I damn near forgot like like you gonna start as Kick Genius. That's what I'm just, saying. Yeah, it's just so much more that goes into it, and just so much more that you guys do and everything that's mm-hmm. like, I know you as like Jay Jones, not as like Kick Genius or the show sure. house or anything like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know the things because of the way things happened, mm-hmm. like they did. Like it, it wouldn't be any house either. Yeah, so you got to keep that. You know, you got to keep that in mind. We were all just kind of adversity comes for a reason. Mm-hmm. And if that didn't come about. Your personal channel would be different. The whole Kick Genius situation would be different. Yep. You probably wouldn't have the brand. There's a lot of things that really wouldn't have shaped up. And yep. uh, I got to meet you and hoop with you from house. So exactly. if that didn't happen, I wouldn't, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, now house is one of the best things I think we've, we've came up with just because it allowed us to have more people involved. Whereas Kick Genius yeah. was pretty much just solely Trey and I. Yeah, um, and I think it allows like the viewers from from a viewing perspective, yeah. I feel like people like feel like they get to know you more because like the reactions and stuff. Mm-hmm. You guys are just kicking it, like you guys are just chilling in the living room watching something. Yeah. But everybody gets to listen to you guys and watch you guys react and Trey and Dre go back and forth. For and sure. Dre say crazy shit, Trey say crazy shit. Yeah. So yeah, all that type of shit. No, for sure, man. It was uh yeah. It, it just happened to work out, bro. Mm-hmm. Something I'm I'm thankful for, man, for sure. Well, for the love of the game series with, with Bradley, that was I feel like that was a very special series. I think that was probably one of the best series you guys had on your channel. How did that like come about and what was your mindset going into that? So I remember watching Bradley at Mercy thinking that he had a lot of potential, mm-hmm. like a lot of potential. Um, 
he was just working on moves and doing moves like that you know that people were just kind of afraid to do at the time but he was yeah. just chopping a lot of people up yeah but constantly over dribbling mm -hmm. like i remember sometimes he would break a defender down but snatch back and just keep dribbling you know what i'm saying and that and i would i would always think like man if i could just work with him mm -hmm. to uh to stop him from doing that he would be crazy yeah. and he is crazy now he's he is crazy. crazy he's tough now yeah. because his game has matured he won't over dribble as much if he sees and it's 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 a big difference from when I used to guard Bradley to me guarding him now. Really? Yeah, it is. It is. Wow. What change? He's, he's he's just becoming more familiar with. Bro, like, no, ah! he's good, bro. He's becoming more familiar. <laughs> his game. He's becoming more comfortable with his game. He's he's finally realizing what works and what doesn't. Like any type of scene, he's going to the rack. He finishes with both hands. Yeah. Mm. No way. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, and that was my thought process. While that was happening, of course, I was watching Devin, you know, his 10,000 hour series. I don't, I don't want to act like that wasn't a, you know, yeah, influence. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. Um, so I just thought, like, I would kind of combine the two, like, the things that I saw in Bradley with the things that I saw or the things that Devin saw in the guy that he was training. For sure. And, yep, that's pretty much how I came, how it came about. I remember just discussing the series with him mm -hmm. and asked him if he wanted to work out and, we just continued to, you know, to go from there and we developed a really good friendship and now, you know, he's my brother for life. So yeah. that's pretty much all that was, man. I saw some potential in, you know, my bro and I just kind of wanted to help him. For sure. The same way that Devin helped the people that's in, like on his side. So yeah, that's feel, all it was. I feel like 10,000 hours for like, it's like a certain community where if you watch a channel like yours and like that, like you would know what community we're talking about. But yeah. like the basketball YouTube community that watches those type of channels is involved in all that. I feel like that 10,000 hours was like one of the most inspirational and like mm -hmm. impactful series on YouTube for basketball. Period. No, for sure. Just because I remember like wanting to hoop like, like man, can I, go. yeah, like can I get this training? I remember wanting to be in that position to receive the training. Yeah, I think everybody sent emails and DMs and- Man, yeah. man, at the time- Dad, I, can you train me? Man, it was crazy. And then, you know, because again, I knew Bradley and saw him so often at the gym. I was mm -hmm. like, man, let, let's start training. Yeah. And yeah, that's what we did. Mm -hmm. We got to it, so. Um, you're from Little Rock. Yep. Have you ever considered moving out of state? Yeah, man, that was one point where I was gonna move to Dallas. I, I was real close to moving to Dallas. Yeah, the only thing that stopped really is, yeah, like Trey and I started, con you know, connecting again. Mm -hmm. Now I would probably be in Texas, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, bigger market. Uh, shout out to my guy Brad from Ballers Life. That was uh, one of the guys that, that I was in contact with a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, gym access is crazy in, in Texas and Dallas to be specific. So yeah, I was about to move out there. Uh, there, Cali was always an option just by default because, you know, um, the connections out there. Yeah, and it's just so many creators. But, you know, I've heard just, you know, people changing when they move to Cali so much and how expensive it is and all that, that I kind of shied away from that. I'm more of a down south guy, man. Yeah, those were like my main two choices. For sure, where I did look at places in, in Dallas, Frisco to be exact, where I just hooped yeah. with, with Frigga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was looking at places out there for sure. But, you know, I started connecting with, you know, the, the bros again and you know then you know we just made it made it happen so mm -hmm. stayed here which i don't have a problem with that i love arkansas okay. and i'm still close to my family so yeah yeah do you plan on moving in the future or is that something that's still unwritten mm -hmm. that you don't really man you know? honestly probably not mm -hmm. just because property out here is just so affordable mm -hmm. like i just want to be able to own like two or three houses start a gym give kids more opportunities mm -hmm. um yeah, and yeah, just be able to do more for the state, man. Yeah. You know, there's a lot out here, but I just feel like there's a lot of potential to continue to build. For sure. Uh, and I just want to be one of the guys to help with that. So, put Arkansas on the map a little bit, really. In the next five to ten years, do you have like a few goals that you have set out or oh, yeah, any sure. significant milestones? Yeah, for sure. Uh, like I mentioned, on, I mentioned two of them. Uh, getting two or three, you know, spots. Uh, you know, just because I want to be able to own some property, that's just something that I just feel like it's just super, super smart to do. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to own my own gym, For sure. uh, where you know everybody's available to, to, or everybody's welcome to just come in, hoop, 
uh, buy merch, you know, just receive all these like college slash NBA resources, man. Because I feel like that's what holds a lot of people back. Now, sure, you know, you can do whatever you need to do with Minimum. with whatever, bro. You can always make something shake. Don't get me wrong, but I do feel like the more resources you have, just by default, the better you can become. So, yeah, if that like was, we were talking about with the NBA player sons. Yeah, man. Like if you have the right resources, you can really make a lot shake. Yeah. And I just want, I just want people to just be able to have resources, man. Because I didn't have these resources, like. If I would have met Clay, you know, four or five years ago when I was, you know, seriously looking into uh, going overseas to play ball or still looking into maybe going D2, whatever the case may be, major D1, then you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my life is, you know, totally different for, the, for better or for worse. But you have to have the resources. Like, you know, Clay being such a great trainer for me. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like he will be able to help so many people, you know, get better. For sure. Uh, Jar is another good example. Like he's he's smart. I would like to have him around in some fashion to, you know, help. Yeah, man. But basically, just kind of creating a team uh, and kind of housing that that team in one in one spot, bro. Mm-hmm. That's really the goal, man, because our group just has a lot of potential. So now at this point, we just kind of need to get the revenue to be able to build a gym and- Fund uh, all that type of stuff. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. So that we can help kids and just help the community and you know, just keep building together, really. That's yeah. the goal, man, that's the goal. Hopefully, yeah, within the next five, that would be great. Yeah. That would be super great, so. I think it'll happen soon. Man, I'm hoping so, man. I'm trying to stay locked in, saving a lot, mm-hmm. and just, you know, going about things the right way, man, so. Again, that if I could do that, then I could say, okay, yeah, now I made it. Yeah. Because at that point, it's like, yeah, now you, you're not only doing stuff just for yourself, but you're funding a whole like community and, yeah. and family. So so you think once you get that key to your gym, you're you going to be like, damn, I made it. Yep, yeah. that's what I need. I need the key to the gym, man. I just got to keep working. Mm-hmm. But that's the goal, man. If I could just get a gym where, you know, the whole family's involved, never full gear being sold out of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Have a shooting machine in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be that would be nice. That'd be nice for sure. So you kind of led into uh, the last question, but I was gonna ask you what your like post college uh, basketball situation was looking like, and if you considered going pro or how that situation all folded up. Yeah, at one point I was thinking about going overseas, man, just for the experience, mm-hmm. and it wouldn't have been nothing like crazy, like you know. I don't think it would have been like a, a big overseas like opportunity, but I think I could have made some noise and you know, there's just so many opportunities with brands at the same time that, you know, I, I feel like if I would have went overseas, I for sure wouldn't be able to receive those, receive those opportunities and have yeah. what I have now. And so I just miss out. Line, it just didn't line up. Yeah, it just didn't, it just didn't line up, man. Like, I think I could have forced the issue and, ma- and like made it work, but mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not like that, man. I like things to just kind of happen organically. And that's kind of how a, a lot of this started for me. Like, I don't force the issue with mm-hmm. much at all. Yeah. Um, like, so if it doesn't feel right or if it's, not, if it's not going how I feel like it should go, I'm usually just like, ah, maybe this isn't the best move for me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, I'm pretty chill. Um, and I, I just felt like... I was kind of forcing the overseas thing. Like I just really didn't know how to go about it. I found myself asking multiple people to try to help me. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you know, just creating content just kind of seemed like the way to go. Yeah. So yeah, I just kind of decided to take a step back from that and I just, you know, continue to grind and here we are. That's what's up. Here we are. Yep. That was the last question, y'all. I appreciate it. Thank oh yeah, no guys. doubt, bro. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Guys you guys can sub Jay Jones personal YouTube Kick Genius yep. in the house. Yep. And then get the merch. Got the basketball. Let me go grab the basketball. Yeah, yeah you can do that. You can do that. I gotta get you a few too. Hopefully they sell again, man. This was a big like switch up. This was a big switch up. Just because I wanted to do things other than clothing, man. Like. You know, everybody can drop clothes, but mm-hmm. there's very few brands that can, you know, do clothes and, you know, create basketballs. And I want to get into, you know, just between okay. us, you know, never f- that's yes, in the works. 
Um, yeah, it's just a lot that we just have in store. Now, don't get me wrong, the clothing is gonna be fire too. Yeah. But in re like outside of that, you know, you just want, you know, I just want to be able to just offer what I think a brand should offer, mm -hmm. and that's clothing, supplements, basketballs, boxing gloves, like anything you can think of. I want to be able to offer. It. And that's what that all in the gym. Yep, and that's why I'm headed, bro. So it's just one step at a time. This is a big start for me. Super nervous about it, but they drop tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, man. Yes, sir. See y'all later, man. GGs, we out. Thank you, Jay. It was an illusion. It was an illusion. They don't keep lying. Yeah. Yeah. This nigga's lying. It just looks like I was small and this is bigger than me. Hell no. He was jumping over the big nigga. He lied. Hey, no, he lied. He's like, Tommy, that's your Tommy. Did you send a picture of you on Northside getting the rebound over there? All right. All right. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Hey, all right, real shit. Real shit.